Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the Roommates Podcast. Hello! We uh, we actually had to replace Bren. Due to popular demand, Bren's been replaced with Boomer the Dog. Boomer is on a very tight contract. He might not be here for this whole video. Because he'll die. Well, that... From, my, from age. That or he's just going to be a picky bastard. But I don't know if he has the energy to get off that couch. He almost <laughs> fell getting on the couch, so... We'll see. He might just die on the spot. We got some uh, game stuff to talk about today and some movies, but we're going to actually start off with uh, something we just saw. Jedi Outcast 2 is coming to the PS4 and the Switch. I don't have either of those consoles, but Matt has both and Michelle has it. And we thought some shit. <laughs> we thought it would be an interesting way to talk about uh, Star Wars games in general, how EA has fucked them up. As well as just ones that we've liked in the past over the years. So, like, did either of you guys play Jedi Outcast? No. Yeah, I loved it. I didn't. You, what? No one played? No. Why does everyone have laptops? What's no, up? I only played the original um, Battlefront. Really? You and didn't play Jedi Outcast 2. No, I only played the original Battlefront and I played Old Republic. Jedi Outcast 2 is basically... I never got into the game. It's myself. one of the pillar Star Wars games. Um, this one is the one that really had a... Every time that there's been Star Wars uh, lightsaber combat, people have referenced this game ever since. And this game came out back in the days of the, the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. And I'm ready to that's run. how much the combat mattered. It's, it was complicated as fuck. It was really, really, really weird, just the combat aspect of Jedi Outcast 2. Oh yeah, that was sweet. Uh, and it's... Such a popular game that there's a mod of Jedi Academy that has constantly updated the game, put in new character skins, updated the graphics, and they've even like there's a there's a dedicated multiplayer. I think Jedi Academy was better than Outcast, but that's speaking of this. Jedi Academy, which was something I was going to ask you about. I I don't remember the details of the conversation because it did take place in a bar and I was a few in, but I was talking to somebody about Ray. Few drinks or guys. Who knows? <laughs> Ooh, Bren's gone, so he doesn't need to know. Yeah. Um, what happens the first days of the bar? But we were talking about Ray and how it really... Remember, we were talking about how it really bothered me that she was a perfect character. She was yeah. good at everything. And his counter was, did you play Jedi Academy? And I was like, no, I never listened to him. He's like, if you play Jedi Academy, that wouldn't bother you. Oh, because your character? So, because you have played that game, what is... Your that... character's not perfect in no. Jedi Academy. He, like... You're a flawed human being yeah, named he... Jaden. Yeah. And, but then the argument was also made that Ray's fatal flaw is she has a fucked up moral compass. Oh, she like, doesn't. Her... What's the what? That is her... so straight. It's straighter than straight. Hers is, but she struggles with it. Apparently, I don't know. I was also. She doesn't have one. She's just... No, there's no. I there's no disagree. struggle. I don't like her as a character. Yeah, no, she's... we can all agree on that. that every is. conversation goes back to Ray being stupid. Just as a character, and she's like at everything. She... Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley does yeah. a really good job with yeah. the content she has. <laughs> yeah, uh, but so, uh, but does Jedi Academy does does playing that game uh, make I, the problem with Ray being a perfect character? I don't. I don't see where the correlation. I, I don't is. really because okay. your character is just going through different motions, and there is a. There's a point where you get to choose whether they go good or bad. Mm -hmm. Mainly, it's all because of this one little asshole friend Jedi. Fr or I character. hated that. Yeah, uh, 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 character. hated that kid. Yeah, he was like that annoying little asshole that was all the time, and eventually he goes evil. But Jaden, I'm gonna go do something cool. Yeah, it's like no, you're you, doing something stupid. Yeah, you have the choice of whether to save him or kill him, and if you kill him, you go fucking full ham evil. Mm -hmm. um, but if you save him, then yeah, you're you're Wait, kind of you. So you go full ham evil. Do you go Fable One Horns and Flies evil? No, you just get really hammy. Like your act, the voice acting is very hammy. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. No, um, I don't see what the correlation between no. Ray's character development and a very very old '90s. Yeah, video game. I think that there was because because that's the standard. There's a lot of just Jedi. What's well, the standard for Jedi yeah. progression? You start off as a Padawan, then you just like go through the motions, and then there's there's so obviously there's story, really but fast. like it's an older game. You can't expect yeah. super character yeah. development. And even then, like I said, the game still has a pretty good following. Yeah, and it is um, still better than Ray. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm kind of interested that they're redoing it. It says yeah. It was just, it was interesting counter that was brought up, and I was like I haven't played the game, so I don't know. Well, um, I don't know. He's not even talking about Kyle Katarn because Kyle Katarn was in both 
Jedi Outcast he's a too, teacher in academy. And, yeah, and in academy, and he's one of the best characters, like legends characters, because hmm, um, he was a, a stormtrooper that became a Jedi, and he is oh, right. his idea is basically what Finn is in the new movies, but. The idea that they're bringing this game back is pretty cool because this game is worth like sixty bucks You've, on on original Xbox and P, and PlayStation. You played too. the games before Outcast, right? Like Jedi Knight, Jedi Knight Two, uh, Dark you, Forces, wasn't Dark yeah, Forces? Dark Forces. The first one? Yeah, yeah. I have I didn't, Katarn, I didn't yeah. play it, but I've heard that is amazing. <laughs> I loved that it. It's a like a it's got like the scene. live action like like oh those cutscenes ones. and stuff, and then like yeah. You can actually choose, depending on the story, you actually get a different colored lightsaber and stuff like that. Oh. It, it's pretty cool. I probably saw those nostalgia goggles, but it was yeah. an excellent game. Uh, I have heard a lot of people do give a, uh, Dark Forces a lot of a lot of praise. What's another Star Wars game, like, pre-EA? So this would be, the, like, from um, Xbox to oh, previous. Oh, Jedi, uh, what did you lose? Darth Vader's Apprentice. Oh, the Force Unleashed? Force oh, Unleashed. Oh, I actually played a bit of that yeah. one, too. That was an okay. I like that one. One was really good. I loved it. Uh, two short. I never actually beat it, but I heard it was good. Well, Hayden, and Hayden Blackman was the creative director for the first game, and he that was, was an EA, was it? No, that was Lucas. That Arts. was Lucas Arts. Yeah. Um, but he was contractually op contractually obligated to make the second one, and he didn't want to. Yeah. He, he was the, gone before the game even went gold. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um. Obviously, ones that stand out are like Knights of the Old Republic. Michelle, that was you, a good one. You love that series, right? Yeah. Um, I still haven't finished it. It oh, it's so good. I keep. There's a lot to it. Do you want a spoiler? I know. I know the spoiler. You actually Revan. Yeah, I know. I, oh, sh uh, spoiler alert for those who haven't played a what thirty year old, thirty year old game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sticking with thirty. Um, uh, games that I, I like, look it up, but I found I realized this is my work laptop. Uh, Empire at War, I think that was their uh, RTS game that they made. I really enjoyed that one, um, because especially because you could do the space battles, and then you could make all you could get all the star destroyers, and then send them at the rebels, and then there was a cinematic camera that would just have all these, you know, epic cinematic cameras of all the ships going, pew, 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 and I just watched that for like ten pew, minutes. Pew, pew, pew. Um, I can uh, any other ones? Obviously, the the original Battlefronts. Were yeah, Battlefront one and two. Those yeah. are sweet. That was a lot of fun. Too, oh, right? Pod Racer. Oh yeah. Bounty Hunter. Republic Commandos. Oh yeah. Oh. Republic Commando was fantastic. I actually, I had a teacher at Art Institute of Vancouver who worked with the the guys who worked on that game, and I asked, I was like, are they ever gonna make another one? It's like, no man, they, they can't. And that was. After, that was only like three years after the yeah. game was released. Yeah. Like, George Lucas shut the aspect of it down. And that game had a pretty complex AI uh, strategy for, for, yeah, for, yeah. Your, for your guys, right? That, that was a competent squad. Yeah, those are good times. Let's, um, what are some good uh, post-EA uh, 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 games that you guys have played? Man, All right. I, was, I was hyped for Battlefront. They oh, hyped it. Yep, yeah. and then I bought it, and I was like, wow. Here's, here's the problem. Okay, here's here's the problem. This is, this is why it sucks. It is terrible. Anyway, Disney gets the rights to Star Wars, and they're like, we don't know how to do video games. We do movies and stuff, and merchandise. We're good at that. All right, let's find a very popular publisher. Hey, EA is over there. Yeah. You guys do it. You guys want it? And he's like, yes. And, and had, then they're like, money! They've and then it for seven, six years. Yeah, and, and Disney's produce, maybe finally noticing that they suck, hopefully. Oh, the Star Wars 2 Battlefront is still a uh, fiasco. It's still <laughs> being talked about today. It's stupid. It's an absolute... It's incredible how badly EA has fucked it up. When, However, though, I do understand why Disney... Just gave it EA. They didn't know any better. Well, they don't like making video games. Well, no, which they, they which is why they they didn't know any better. They're like EA, they're great. Well, they don't think this <laughs> is profitable. Yeah. Um, because they did have there was a phase, particularly with the 360 PS3 phase, where there was a, a couple of games that were made by Disney Interactive. There was the Tron game. There was uh, Epic Mi Ep Epic Mickey. They had two games of that. Oh, yeah. um, there was a random car game called Split Second, which was produced by Disney, which was weird because it was all about cars and explosions and whatnot. And there was a huge 
uh, Pirates of the Caribbean game being produced by Propaganda Games here in Vancouver. And it was like a two, like a hundred million dollar plus project into a video game. And then Disney just was like, yeah, done. Yeah. It, it, we'll just cancel this. Um, and it was huge. A lot of people were working on that game. I didn't even know about that one. Well, that was that was when Gaming Crash happened what's, in 2010. Yeah. What's the what's the new Star Wars game again? It's got a Joker from Gotham Fall. TV show in it. Oh, Fallen Order? Yeah, Fallen Order. Have you seen any? I haven't. That was the one where they, they're trying to make like a toned down version of Force Awakens. Yeah, which, why? You can't even... Oh! Can't I even took say, down I a goddamn this. Star Destroyer. Like, come on, that was awesome. Why would they make a toned down version? Yeah, I guess the real, I don't know, how grounded you want to be with the yeah. powers and stuff. And you can't like, even cut off limbs, which was something that was really cool about the about the Jedi Outcast. You could cut off heads and arms and legs off of the stormtroopers, and then they'd be like, but, but you yeah. have to cut off limbs, Jeremy. You did sit in oh. Fallout and shoot limbs until they would come off oh, of yeah. their bodies. But yeah, you're a cool. psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> like, you spent, like, a strange amount of time. Well, there was that one time where a character glitched in my game, and he was, like, he was just hovering there. I was like, oh. Okay. And I just started chopping him up, like, kind of like a, a filet fish. Yeah. Anyway. Well, the story. Uh, get the Star Wars license away from EA. Yeah. Give it to some competent. Take it away. You know, like Activision. Oh. Yeah. Give it to Bungie. They... Nah, Bungie's too <sighs> small. I don't know. Who, who would do a good job with Star Wars? Well, license? I would say Raven, but... What do they do? They made Jedi Outcast. Oh, are they but still around? No, they're mm -hmm. Activision's bitch now, <laughs> unfortunately. The last major game that they made themselves was the Wolverine the movie game. What if... What if... Blizzard got Star Wars. That would be kind of cool. Darth Vader walking around with giant ass shoulder pads and his lightsaber's <laughs> actually fucking too I would love to see a strategy game made by them. A Star Wars strategy game. They're remaking uh, Warcraft 3. That's detracting them. But, um, yeah, I don't know who'd do a good job with, uh, I feel that they I should just... I think it depends on what kind of game they want it to make. It doesn't matter. Like, if there's a publisher who, can, who has the license, they can make a wide variety. Like the first-person shooters, the RPGs, that sandbox game that was supposed to be coming out. Yeah. Like, another Padres game. game. That would be sweet. Don't People have a single... Yeah. Like, don't have a single publisher. Now, this, this is Pod Racing. It's like the only thing that people liked with the Phantom Menace was Pod Racing. Yeah. And the Darth Maul fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, but uh, I feel that they should do what they did before. Lucas Arts was the publisher, and then they had different contractual obligations with different developing companies. So what, what happened to Lucas one... Arts? Money and <laughs> Lucas okay. and oh, George Lucas sold Lucas Arts with uh, yeah. the Star Wars. But wow. he, uh, Disney is making something called Lucas Games, so this might be their possible replacement for EA. They're going to be making games under this banner as EA well. EA is making it to no. get away from EA? What? No, no. Disney's oh. making it. Disney's oh. making this development company. Good. Maybe it will suck for a little bit and get better. Yeah. It would be nice. And if, if, if anything, it can be the same thing as LucasArts was. Just a person that the games are made through, but... They have different developers. They let other developers try. As long as they have that things. one, like you know, the like uh, producers, publishers that can like di have the direction and, and, and the focus and be good. Yeah. Cool. Or fucking boomer looks like he's dying over there. I think he's hot, but he doesn't want to. Doesn't want to move. It. Well, I think he doesn't. He's like, I can't get off this couch. Maybe I'm he, stuck. He's a dog, and he can't properly convey those feelings. And he's getting scratches, and I. He's so do, conflicted. Do you want to go? His time's up. Let him. Do you want to? You want to? Do you need to go? What's uh, next on the agenda? Uh, thirteen. Second reasons, part. Uh, thirteen reasons why. The third season just came out, and it's three seasons now. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I knew that the third season was coming. I didn't know it was out until I saw the trailer. I'll admit, the trailer's well edited. It's but pretty good trailer. We made it through the first season. We're like, okay, you made oh, a couple. Of, you wow. made it through. I was last. The third oh, season. Just gonna mop up everything from the second. Oh, Bryce died. 
It was Bryce. The whole first season, like, mm, I'm Bryce and I'm a rapist. Well, I'm Bryce. I'm a rapist. And if you're he's proud of so rapey. <laughs> uh, is he? Aren't they all in high school? Yeah. Yeah. They, except he clearly does not look like he's in fucking high school. Well, has he got like a hashtag Me Too brand? He, he carries like around. He, he's post college age. That's how old <laughs> this dude looks. Yeah. Welcome to like. I'm just, I'm just confused future. about the storyline, like. The key point and most memorable point in season two was when they fucked to kill the broomstick. Yeah, they had that. And then they almost go shooting and that happened. And kill Bryce. Is Bren, Bryce the rapist? Bren? Yeah, Bren, Bren, <laughs> Bryce, Bren, Bryce. <laughs> We've already replaced him, it's okay. Is, um, is Bryce the rapist now going to become the, the, the poor the, Bryce? That's, the victim? Uh, yeah, I think. <gasps> Rapist victiming. Oh, hey man, stupid show. It's hey man, bad. whatever gets the controversies going, man. I don't. I haven't heard that many about this, mind you. I don't. I haven't looked into this at all. I just remember your Facebook didn't blow the fuck up. Like, no. Oh, oh thank so God. Good. I remember people just talking about it. It was great advocation of suicide awareness and whatnot. It's like someone said it in a short term. This makes this romanticized. Uh, suicide. It makes hey, you want to get back at those people who fucked your life? Make a bunch of tapes and then kill yourself. Honestly, the most, like, I think maybe it started off conceptually as like the, you know, let's talk about, you know, sensitive things like suicide and stuff. And now it's just like, ooh, let's see what the edgiest thing we can add. Oh, because gotta... people are going to love that. And yeah, I think they're trying to shock people. I mean, they fucked a kid with a broomstick. Yeah, shock yeah. people. Like, Remember, like, and he didn't even go to the hospital. That, that motherfucker would have been, like, destroyed inside. That broomstick was fucking red. Oh, no, he would have Maybe been... it's not this first rodeo. <laughs> Dear God. Like, he was walking fine. Like, he was like, oh, I'm a little bit stiff. It's like, fuck you, dude. You're entire... Uh, like the organ dying. system is fucked. Yeah. You, you you could have you should have been dying from blood loss and ruptured spleen, anus, and everything. Full disclosure: I've never seen spleen? a single episode. I've seen bits and pieces. We none of us have seen season three. Because we the one positive I'll give: the show is well edited. It's very well edited. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. I remember watching. It's like this is fucking trash, but at least it's put together well. <laughs> it's well edited trash. Yeah. Um, and it's got goosebumps but, in it. But you can polish a turd and it's still a turd. Yeah, that's true. I... So I, I can... He doesn't want to go. No, I know. Okay. He, like, he needs to, but he doesn't want to. He doesn't anyway. want to give up the limelight. He's, like, he's like, ah, oh, I've had a taste, now I want more. <laughs> Bring me caviar, dog sticks. Homer oh. has been offered discounts on his Instagram, but Homer doesn't do discounts. He only does free. <laughs> you All can right. manage him. Okay. Oh my okay. god. A bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to have an autograph signing signing session with Boomer? Talk to me. We'll set it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we can get you some we'll figure something out. We'll get some merch, some paraphernalia, you if know, you all guys that stuff. Wanna... We got Boomer posters. We got Boomer masks. <laughs> We've got pre-autographed of both. We have his one-track album, Wanting Even... with Gusto. <laughs> What's our next topic? So, topic number tries. Going back That's to... That's French uh, for three. Oh, wait, we actually have a little super fast shout out to Carlos from YTV. Carlos? He left YTV. The dude who looks like he hasn't aged except his hair got a little bit shorter. He's on ET Canada now. Do you remember when he joined? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, Can you wait. imagine he's been doing it for so long he's just stuck in that kind of like YTV persona? He was on that for... <laughs> Over a decade, I at least. Since our childhood, he joined. Well, he the was there with Sugar. I, I love Sugar. She had the most annoying sugar, voice. Did he join with the woman that was after just after Sugar? No, Sugar no. was the last woman. No, there was a woman after Sugar. I don't remember yeah. that. It was. She had like these cool buns and braids. Yeah, she joined after Sugar. Wait, was she the weekend people? There was. There was. Oh yeah, she on was on the weekend. weekend YTV yeah. had two people, but the for the whole week. It was Sugar, and then Carlos and Sugar, and then it was just Carlos. Yeah, man. It was the 90s and early 2000s. It yeah. was a wild time. Welcome to Nostalgia Corner. During My parents hated crazy. me watching because, like, they thought she was super annoying. Oh, yeah. Everyone commented. Because the first time. I can't even replicate. It's been so long. Honestly, 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 honestly. It's, uh, she had a very high-pitched voice, and she yeah. disappeared off the face of the earth, and then... What was that movie with... Uh, oh. Wait, she was in a movie? Yeah. Oh, what's that name with it? Adam Levine? Okay, you know uh, Adam, Adam Levine? Levine? Adam Devine. Devine? Adam Devine? Levine is from Maroon 5. Yeah, no, dude. the other Adam. Adam Devine. Yeah, Devine. This this guy. Adam, wait, there's an Adam Devine? This guy. Oh! Yeah, he was in a movie called What's in What His Not. His middle name's Patrick. 
they need a date. He was on Workaholics for the longest time. Um, where is it? Mike and Dave need wedding dates. She's in that movie. What's She's her the bride. real name? Uh, Not being super creepy stalkerish, but... I'm actually kind of curious, too. Sugar... Wait, her name is... Sh her actual name is Sugar? Sugar Beard? Beard? Beard. Oh, that's such an anticlimactic last she name. She's Canadian. Was that her? Did she change it to Sugar, or was she born Sugar? She did a lot of voice acting for the longest time. That would that, make sense. Yep. Oh, she's in Beyblade. Yeah. yeah. She was in King of the Hill. Let her rip. She's been on The Flash. What? Wait. Whoa. Wait. Becky Sharp Hazard. She was. She was Hazard. Gosh dang, I gotta rewatch The Flash. I'm just happy for Carlos because every time I'd go oh, to my yeah, mom's house and just. We would flip through the channels and be on YTV. I saw him, hell, I saw him on YTV when I was recovering from my surgery. What's cable like these days? I don't know, I haven't been there in a while. I miss, I got watches like, oh yeah, there's the ads. Now that there's so many streaming services, I might just go back to cable. <laughs> cable did get a little wise, and one of the big things that they were, uh, at least here in Canada with the CRTC rules, is something that was killing them was you couldn't just buy the channels you wanted. You had to buy packages, and people were getting fed up with that shit. I met a couple... Now we have to buy packages. <laughs> that yeah. are just Netflix, Amazon Prime, Google, oh, oh whatever is going Oh on. man, it's so decent. Now this became an M-rated <laughs> video. It's just... He's just gobbling on it. He is proud. It's just his tummy. It's nothing gross. Oh, it's his tummy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm right, forgetting from my old age. I forgot what it feels like. What you all looking at now? Where am I? Oh, this is right. This is true. Oh, bug, food. Hey guys, welcome to the zone. God damn it, sorry guys. That's <laughs> it's just ingrained. Like imagine all the first his first day on ET Canada. It's like, all right. So we're gonna talk about SpongeBob. God damn it, I mean Scarlett Johansson. ET Canada's so weird. There's so much less drama than YTV. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> Shut up. I hate it. Everyone. The last thing we'll talk about is the Mandalorian trailer. Yeah. Now, has anyone seen else it. seen <laughs> this besides me? I saw it. Okay. So we watched it together. No one tells me what's going on each episode, so I go on fly. Could you imagine if it's the same actor? Did they is the actor revealed for? Uh, I think I know who it is. Well, uh, watch it be the it. guy who always plays a freaking bounty hunter in space sci-fi. It's like actually, from Serenity. Actually, I don't know how you make a why can I never remember his name? Jedi. It takes one of the most beloved franchises. Just close it. Of sorry. Close it. Yeah, right. ah, 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 ah. Actually, it's um, Pe Pedro. What's his name Pedro. from? Pedro. He was in Narcos. He was. He played the very short character, short-lived character in Game of Thrones season five. He was the one who was like. You raped her. You murdered her. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't remember his name. Ibram? I Let me just Google it real quick. Yeah, that guy, I think, is the Mandalorian. Okay. Because I remember him being cat, like, talk, them talking about him. <laughs> they do their final like, reveal, he takes off his helmet. Hello there! And he's got, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Mandalorian gets striped out. Oh. Kenobi! And that's what they do, did. Do, do, do. Uh, do you know how hilariously pissed off everyone was? Yeah. <laughs> that, oh man, April 1st can't come soon enough. Oh, that's, I'd do that. That's why, probably why I'm not allowed to be a uh, producer. <laughs> Pedro oh. Pascal. Pedro Pascal, yeah. yes, that actor. Wait. He, that's who I think. He can't be a Mandalorian what? man. Did you, say, you, Did you watch him in Games of Thrones? No, it's just, isn't he short? No, he's no. tall. Okay. Yeah. No, he had one of the best characters in Game of Thrones season four. He was four, really good. And he was only in it for like six episodes. Season five, he said. Oh, sorry. Oh, I meant season four. My bad. I can't remember the seasons. Uh, but I like the idea of it. I don't know if you saw, but he pulled a guy. A guy was trying to run. He shot him in the back. Yeah. And went yeah. In yeah. <laughs> like it looks like there's gonna be some like mature content in this Did show. Rated R or what? Mm -hmm. No, what is it, HBO? Or they'll, it no, it's Disney. Oh yes, it's Disney, Disney Plus. Yeah, it's I think Disney they'll Plus. push it as far as they can. John Favaro is the producer of the show. Oh, he does the Spider Man. No, we, he, Iron Man. Yes. Movies. Uh, so he's there's. In, yeah, he's yeah. happy. Yeah. There's a chance. I think this so far looks like the. Okay. Aside from Rogue One, this is the best Disney? thing that Star Wars is like. This of the new Star Wars that looks like yeah, a chance to be one of the best. Yeah, but they really need to figure out what their kind of direction is for their for their platform. Is it gonna be more like the nitty gritty, like mm -hmm. HBO type stuff, Amazon Prime, edgy yeah. kind yeah. of thing. Like Netflix kind of 
borderlines it, well, I feel, Netflix, but not too much. Netflix Marvel had a pretty cool relationship because the Marvel movies were like PG-13 and then the yeah. Netflix Marvel was like, yeah, we're going to go fucking as close to 18 as we can. Yeah, so like Disney's going to have to strike kind of a middle ground because like the Star Wars as a whole is generally family friendly with some dark tones. Yeah, you can like you can tell so that like the the Star Wars stories like Han Solo and like mm -hmm. the um uh the Re Rebel One Rogue One. <laughs> yeah, Rogue One's one. Rogue of the One is a bit dark as well. Yeah, I would say yeah, I can understand where you're coming from there. I remember reading um, a zombie novel called Death Troopers. I read that. That it, was hilarious. It did not work no. at all. I feel that there has to be a, a certain level. Like I think 14A is the farthest you could put Star Wars. You could you could push it. Into yeah, because if you start reading. putting it into like like 18A or R or whatever, like um like you can't start <laughs> kids can't watch it. No. And then and then there goes your money because they're already losing money from the toys which aren't selling. Yes, yeah, because they're kind of stupid. But no one wants to buy all the why race. Do you, why do you think? <laughs> Why do you think they're adding nostalgic old A New Hope and like original trilogy stuff in their trailers now? Oh yeah, and it's it's supposed to be a homage, but it's I guess was we'll, I'm I'm remember the good old days. They're really pushing <laughs> it. Yeah, that was. I have hope for this show. I have more hope for that show than I do for the Rise of the Skywalker movie. <laughs> so the, do I, honestly. Yeah. They've done better with series than they have with movies lately, so I have more hope for this. What was their other series? Well, I mean, all the animated series were good. Oh, yeah. So they've done pretty good with series. And mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping that this one isn't shit. I have, actually... I and even, the Mandalorian stuff is really cool. Especially if they don't go Boba Fett. Like, that's mm -hmm. a lot of people are thinking this is a Boba Fett character. Yeah. I would be okay with it that, but be. if it's not him, that would be even cooler. Just well, have, like, a brand have, new character. In the Clone Wars series, they touched on, like, the Mandalorian planets and their moons and the civil conflict well, there. there's a so whole that was, season on yeah, that. Like, there, there's a, a lot of really cool stuff that they could go into. Boba Fett had his own little thing, too, going on in there. Mm -hmm. And Rebels, baby yeah. Fett. Baby, baby Fett? Baby Fett. <laughs> baby Fett. Fett. Baby, 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 baby Fett. 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 Baby Next trilogy is oh, gonna be yeah. like that's their redeeming chance. Get well, the TV Johnson show. Is attached with that too. I uh, yes, but this time he doesn't have all creative control. No, there's... he had that last time. And he's like, great, let me pull up my fan fiction that I masturbated yeah. to as a child. Yeah, there. That's uh, three heads is better than one. For yeah. Sure. So, but like D and D are really good at taking source material and making it into like yeah, watchable material. Like, but then so they have their own stuff, they're like... As long as they can take from like the books and stuff as, as references, oh, they're not good at references, um, hopefully something can be made with that. Because I, I think Ryan Johnson is a decent director, it's just he shouldn't have creative control over anything. I, I find that he's good at world building and like some of his own things. Like Looper is one of my favorite movies. So yeah, when he was Ryan Johnson, well, when he was Cat, when he was selected as director for the Last Jedi, I was like, oh cool, I'm really looking forward to this. And then I'm like, oh man, bro, it's really hard to be a fan of yours right yeah. now. Yeah. So it might be the mo the 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 movie and or movies that redeem them, but I have no. I'm not even going to pretend until I start seeing something. So as long as these as these shows start taking off and they're popular, that might actually be able to ride out the fan base until those movies come out. Because uh, I, I Rise of Skywalker is just going to... I don't think I, it's going to be good. I, I have more excitement for making the next Michael Bolton Star Wars music video than I do oh, for watching Michael. that movie. Okay, those are gold. They are. <laughs> and you guys will see them eventually. We're going to start making the third one soon. No. Yeah, have, oh. you see, have you gone back and watched those? No. I no, no. He they, must watch no. them. <laughs> the camera work in the second one that Sean and I got of you mm -hmm. with, with your wig blowing in the wind. <laughs> I've seen them. So I have not rewatched them. <laughs> so good. Oh, I I rewatched them. I've showed them to multiple people. <laughs> okay, you, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be in the next one and I'll I'll like it. Oh, all right. Well, we're gonna, gonna have fan. budget. I'm gonna do like a teaser trailer oh, for it. Budget. Oh my god, he's gonna go full denim. <laughs> You, maybe you'll get a little bit of a nicer wig. No, if you guys know any better, stop watching these. It's just gonna lead to Michael Bolton Star Wars Christmas. Oh man! <laughs> oh, what's it? It's, it's September. Oh, 
it's all maybe it's a little too early to break out the Michael Bolton Christmas album. But well, the moment Halloween's done, Christmas is up. Yeah, yeah and Michael as soon Bolton. As starts in this house, Jeremy and I get kind of drunk, put on Michael Bolton Christmas music. And Lord and Savior yeah. Michael Bolton. Yeah, you guys just wait. We have a Halloween special planned. It's gonna be lit, as all the children say. Anyway, uh, I think that basically yeah. concludes what we we're talking about today. I mean, Boomer has oh. a wardrobe. Yeah. You know, he has a wardrobe. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. We are sellouts, so, <laughs> you know, whatever you got. We will take it. <laughs> yeah, put your suggestions in the comments below, and uh, we'll see what we can talk about next time. Anyways, until then, see you guys later. Bye! That was aggressive. I'm very aggressive with my women. <laughs>